The Boeing AH-64 Apache is an American twin turboshaft attack helicopter that has served as a premier attack helicopter for armed forces around the world since its introduction in 1986. The Apache has proved itself as an invaluable asset for air-to-ground combat, reconnaissance, and surveillance missions. The origins of the AH-64 Apache date back to the early 1970s, when the United States Army sought a new attack helicopter as part of the Advanced Attack Helicopter Program. The objective of the program was to develop a helicopter that could effectively counter the increasing threat of Soviet armored forces in Europe. In 1972, the U.S. Army issued a request for proposals for the Advanced Attack Helicopter Program, leading aircraft manufacturers Hughes, Bell, and Sikorsky to submit designs for consideration. In 1976, Hughes Model 77 and Bell's Model 409 prototypes were selected for a competitive fly-off. After an extensive evaluation process, the U.S. Army awarded the contract to Hughes Aircraft in December 1976, selecting the Model 77 as the winner. The first production AH-64A Apache rolled off the assembly line in January 1984 and the helicopter entered service with the U.S. Army in April 1986. The Apache has since undergone several upgrades and modifications, leading to the development of advanced variants such as the AH-64D Longbow and the AH-64E Guardian. The Apache features a conventional helicopter design with a tandem cockpit configuration that accommodates a pilot and a gunner. The airframe is made primarily of aluminum alloy and is designed to be both lightweight and robust. The four-blade main rotor system uses a rigid, hingeless design that provides improved handling and maneuverability. The Apache is powered by two General Electric T700 turboshaft engines, which provide a combined output of over 3,400 shaft horsepower. This power allows it to reach a maximum speed of approximately 182 miles per hour and reach a service ceiling of around 21,000 feet. The Apache's advanced avionics and sensor systems play a crucial role in its effectiveness as an attack helicopter. The primary sensor system is the Target Acquisition Designation Site Slash Pilot Night Vision Sensor, which incorporates a forward-looking infrared system, which uses a laser rangefinder slash designator, and a day TV camera. The AH-64D and AH-64E variants feature the Advanced Longbow Fire Control Radar, which enables all-weather, day or night target acquisition and engagement. The AH-64 Apache is armed with a variety of weapon systems, including a 30mm M230 chain gun mounted beneath the aircraft's nose. The Apache can also carry up to 16 AGM-114 Hellfire anti-tank missiles or 76 70mm Hydra unguided rockets on its four stub wing pylons. In addition, the helicopter can be outfitted with AIM-9 Sidewinders or AIM-92 Stinger air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense and limited air-to-air -air capabilities. The Apache is equipped with an advanced electronic warfare suite that includes radar warning receivers, laser warning systems, and countermeasures such as infrared jammers and chaff flare dispensers. This suite helps to improve the helicopter's survivability. It is also capable of exchanging data and coordinating with other platforms, including ground units and other helicopters. This allows the Apache to act as a force multiplier, enhancing the effective of friendly forces and reducing the risk of friendly fire incidents. The AH-64A was the first production variant of the Apache, with over 800 units produced between 1984 and 1996. It featured the base sensor systems and armaments of the Apache family, but lacked the advanced fire control radar and improved engines found in later variants. 
The AH-64B was a proposed upgrade to the A variant, which aimed to enhance its avionics, navigation, and communication systems. However, the project was cancelled in favor of developing the more advanced AH-64D Longbow Apache. The AH-64D Longbow entered service in 1997 featuring significant upgrades over the AH-64A. The most notable addition was the AN-APG-78 Longbow Fire Control Radar, which vastly improved the Apache's target acquisition and engagement capabilities. The AH-64D also included upgraded T-700 General Electric engines, a fully integrated digital cockpit, and a new data modem for real-time data sharing. The AH-64E Guardian introduced in 2011 represents the latest and most advanced variant of the Apache family. Key upgrades include enhanced T-700 General Electric 701D engines, improved rotor blades for increased lift and speed, and the addition of the modernized Target Acquisition Designation Site slash Pilot Night Vision Sensor. The AH-64E also features features enhanced aircraft survivability equipment and network-centric capabilities for improved battlefield awareness and coordination. During the 1991 Gulf War, the AH-64A Apache played a crucial role in the US-led coalition's air campaign against Iraq. The Apache's night vision and precision strike capabilities enable it to effectively target and destroy enemy air defenses, paving the way for subsequent air operations operations. Apaches were deployed as part of NATO's peacekeeping mission in Bosnia during the 1990s, providing air support and reconnaissance for ground forces. Following the September 11, 2001 terrorist attacks, the AH-64 Apaches were deployed to Afghanistan as part of the US-led coalition's efforts to combat the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Apaches provided close air support escort, and reconnaissance missions, proving their versatility and effectiveness in various combat scenarios. During the 2003 invasion of Iraq, AH-64 Apaches again played a vital role in the US-led coalition's air campaign. Apache units were responsible for numerous high-profile missions, including the daring Apache raid on the Karbala Gap, which successfully disrupted Iraqi reinforcements. The Boeing AH-64 Apache has proven itself as a formidable and versatile attack helicopter, capable of performing a wide range of missions in various operational environments. With ongoing upgrades and enhancements, the Apache will likely continue to serve as a critical asset for armed forces worldwide for years to come. The development and deployment of the AH-64 Apache demonstrates the importance of continuous innovation and adaptation in the field of military aviation, ensuring that air power remains a vital component of modern warfare. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.